Welcome to Pioneers of Cosmos. Before rockets existed, before humanity dreamed of stepping on the moon, a boy in rural Russia listened silently to the universe. His name was Konstantin Tsiolkovsky, and his story begins not with a roar, but with an absence. Born in 1857, his childhood was cut short at the age of 10 by scarlet fever, a disease that left him almost completely deaf. This wall of silence isolated him from his peers and closed the doors to formal education. His thirst for knowledge was so great that, as a teenager, he traveled alone to Moscow, where he spent three years living in near squalor, living on black bread and water but devouring every book he could in the city's great library. He became his own teacher, a self-taught scholar forged in solitude. There, amid dust and yellowing pages, he absorbed Newton's principles, the laws of motion, and understood that the same forces that governed the fall of an apple could, theoretically, propel a ship beyond the clouds. But it was science fiction, the fantastic stories of Jules Verne, that lit the true spark. He realized that traveling to other worlds was not just a fantasy, but an engineering problem to be solved. If man could imagine it, science could make it a reality. His deafness, far from being a barrier, became his laboratory, a distraction-free space where the pure logic of mathematics and physics could resonate. From his small village, he began filling notebooks with calculations and diagrams of flying machines, spaceships, and metallic airships. The seed of curiosity had been planted in the most fertile ground, that of a dreamer who, unable to hear the world, decided to imagine how to conquer others.